gifts I missed. He loves any kind of attention, as long as it's attention. As he walked through the huge castle in the sky, Jack marveled at how large everything seemed. The man who lives here atop the beanstalk must truly be a giant. Just then, he heard the loudest footsteps he had ever heard. Hey, what you doing, guys? Oh, I'm reading Jack and the Beanstalk to the chicks. Proceed. Don't mind me. No one ever does, you know. Yeah, okay. Now, where was I? Loudest footsteps he ever heard. Right. Just then, he heard the loudest footsteps he had ever heard. Gadzooks! It can only be the giant! Jack knew he must not leave empty-handed, so he quickly grabbed up the goose that laid the golden eggs. Golden eggs? Ooh, sounds painful. Wade, please. That was when he saw the giant. Fee, fi, fo, fig. I smell the blood of an English pig. With all his might, Jack ran for the exit from the giant's castle. Even as he reached the outside, however, he could hear the giant after him. As fast as his legs could carry him across the clouds, Jack sprinted toward the beanstalk that had brought him here. Quickly, he climbed down the beanstalk toward the ground far below. This is exciting. Wade! Oh, sorry, sorry. And just when he thought he'd gotten away from the giant, he looked up, and there he saw the giant climbing down the stalk in close pursuit. Give me back my goose that lays the golden eggs. Isn't that painful? Roy, do you mind? Laying golden eggs? <laughs> that sounds painful and cold. Roy, I'm trying to read a story. Laying regular eggs is hard enough. Roy? Not that I've ever laid one myself, mind you, but I have friends. Roy! Now I lost my place again. The giant is chasing Jack down the beanstalk. Right. So Jack slid down the beanstalk all the way to the ground, miles below. When he reached the bottom, he got an axe and started chopping down the beanstalk, while high above, the giant was still climbing down after him. Finally, Jack chopped all the way through the beanstalk and sent it toppling. That was the end of the giant. But it was also the end of poverty for Jack and his mother. With the goose that laid the golden eggs, they were very wealthy indeed. Well, yeah, go on. What happens next? Well, nothing happens next. That's the end. They lived happily ever after. Well, how can you live happily ever after with a dead giant in your front yard? Yeah, didn't that make people at least a little suspicious? And, 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 and what about the goose that laid the golden, albeit painful, egg? That's the end of the story. There's no more to it than that. Well, how can they leave all those little things just lying around? A dead giant on the lawn is not a little thing. What an unsatisfying story. Well, if there's more to write, then why don't we write it? You mean, like, do a sequel? Telling the rest of the story? A fine idea, Bre Rooster. Come on, I have paper in my coop. Oh, this is going to be fun. This. Six hours. Uh, read back what we ha have so far. Once upon a time. Well, it is a catchy beginning. I've heard it before. Yeah, we need something different. Uh, how about twice upon a time? How about giving up? Oh, uh, I'm good at that. No, no, I've got it. <laughs> yes, that is it. What is it? Roy's got an idea! Yes! Yes! Oh, I love it! Oh, pass up my Pulitzer! <laughs> uh, who is it? Open up, Orson! It's me! And me! And me! And me! What's so important it couldn't wait until morning? We have the end of the story! The what? The end of the Jack story! 
Jack and his mother were rich now that they had the goose that laid the golden eggs. But later that day, the law came to their door. Yes? Your name Jack? Yes. As in Jack and the Beanstalk? Yes. Name Stone. I'm with the city sanitation squad. I'd like to talk to you about your giant. What giant? In the cottage, Jack's mother was trying to get the goose to lay just one more golden egg. Come on, dear, just one more. <laughs> Like we figured, pretty painful. Mother, we have a terrible problem. The city has ordered us to bury the giant. Well then, let's do it. Do you know how much it's going to cost to build a coffin big enough for him? And we'll have to buy all of Indiana for a cemetery plot. That will cost a fortune. Any more eggs left in the goose? Not on your life! Yes, they were in trouble, but it was about to get worse. Let me read, let me read! Because the sanitation chief was driving home, and as he tried to make a left turn around the giant, he noticed... Oh, that first step! The giant immediately decided to swear out a complaint against Jack. Jack was arrested and six months later brought to trial. He was found guilty of goose stealing, attempted murder of a giant, and chopping down beanstalks out of season. Our turn. Jack got five to ten at hard bean planting in a federal prison. While the giant took his goose, went home, and converted the whole castle to a floating mini mall. The end. That's it, Orson. What do you think of it? <laughs> Serves him right. Now he'll never know how the story really ended. Say, Roy, hmm? if Jack chopped down the beanstalk, how did the giant get home? Yeah, how did he get home? And how did you get a cloud rezoned for a mini mall? Oh, shut up! Hmm. Shut up! Huh? What a stuff a socket.